What is going on, everybody? Thanks again for joining us on another special episode of the Who Do You, do you think, think You Are podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and we commence the spooky season here. As always, I'd like to take this time to ask each and every one of you, please go to the YouTube, type us into the search bar, W-D-U-T-U-R. First ones that come up, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe share it, share it with, with a ghoul. How <laughs> scary. Also, check out the social medias at WDUTUR Pod across all platforms. That's WDUTUR Pod across all platforms. And before we get this rolling, Nick, yeah, I just want to tell the people out there stay tuned to see if your comment made the comment of the week. Hey, buddy. Hey, Pedro. Who, Who do, do you think, think you are? Brains. Razor blades and candy. Ooh. To all these millions of people that got the shots, they're just stupid? Yep. Oh, <laughs> hello. Welcome back, everybody. It's Nikki Bad Boy bringing awareness to stop domestic violence. And that's that's what it is this month. That's awesome, dude. And good I think, for you. I think it's a good time to do it during ha for Halloween. You know, yeah. you don't want to trick people, you know, so stay good this month, man. Hell All yeah, right. Dude. Stay clean. And I'm Pedro <laughs> and I'm out of the in-laws and into the hotel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chris James. Follow me on Instagram at CJ Talks Funny for brand new jokes every weekday. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank God for my sex life. Uh -huh. mm. But I can't because neither of those things exist. Oh, uh, you little tricky tricks there, dude. Thanks so much. You backed thank up? You Is my boy backed up? <laughs> I was backed up for a couple of days, actually, and I released three times. What's Whoa, her name? Oh, dude. In one day. Uh, Emma underscore Lou one. Oh, that's a nice name. <laughs> Damn, shout out. Emma. Shout out to her. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm feeling that same way, dude. I'm feeling like Nikki back up, too. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Back, back up, pinch hitter, dude. Yeah. No way, dude. You fucking yeah. med messaged us. You said you, oh, were in, yeah. was... you, you said you were in Pound Town on your vacay, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. So I just came back from uh, uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee, the yeah. Clan Boys. Clan Boys. Uh, I don't know if that's true because there's a lot of diversity there. I'll say, there? say that. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> they took that place over. They too? took it over. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely had to walk on the other side of the street a lot of times. So <laughs> anytime you had to walk somewhere that was a couple blocks away, you ended up had to go back and forth. Yeah, Just yeah, act yeah. like a confused tourist. Like right. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going. I've never been in this city. <laughs> no, this I'm not afraid of you. Yes. I just don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Is it here? Is it there? Yeah. Yeah. I actually had uh never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you can't set it up like that, so buddy. I'm, I'm back from Milwaukee. Nick <laughs> Nick vacations. My bank account hurts. Dude, yeah, but uh the first night I got there. And I let, so the next morning I check my Bumble app, you know, just to see, and it's blown up, dude. Like, I think it was like 25, Damn. Ma like want, like want matches. And I was like, what? Like, this is, I've never had it like yeah. here, like in Phoenix, you know, I'm like a Phoenix too, but in Milwaukee, I'm like an eight or a nine or something. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> You're a Milwaukee eight. I'm a yeah, Milwaukee dude. eight, dude. Hell that's yeah, awesome. Dude. So that's a good thing to know. Like for sure. The Midwest, I feel like maybe I'm just have better odds there. So anyway, so that was happening, but you know, I, I ended up talking with a couple of them, but like I, I was just out of what I didn't know. I didn't really have that much time to break away and, and do. Right. So I, I like I just had to take try to go into the wedding and be like, OK, I need to find some prey here. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. Like I need to fucking drug somebody. I need to either drag them or drug them. Did you bring? Drag and this is before domestic violence month. <laughs> this, oh yeah, this is right before. Just, so I had yeah. to get it out of my system. <clears throat> that makes <laughs> sense. Who's the, who the football player that beat the shit out of the girl in the heli in the elevator? I'm pretty sure there was a couple of them, dude. Oh. Ray Charles. Oh, yes, Ray Charles. <laughs> Don't bring Ray well, Charles he's just, yeah, yeah, he's just trying to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I was there. So bunch, drug bunch, him or drag him? Bunch of, <laughs> bunch, of, yeah, bunch of love in the city. It was a cool city. Yeah? Yeah, it was, I, I think I walked around, I think, like, upwards like 30 miles yeah I just do. like hopping around and checking out i love just walking around cities you know the weather was was pretty nice especially like a new city too like yeah. you're not too familiar with and shit exactly so so who got married your cousin my cousin so uh jake you know yeah, he yeah. was on here a while ago it's uh his sister so oh, no, we're cool. like the, now it's the race between him and me who's who's gonna get married oh, <laughs> shit. next it's probably gonna be him because I'm gonna fucking die alone, dude. You know, what I mean? and alcohol isn't even working anymore. Before I could like drink myself to like not feel lonely, but now like it doesn't doesn't work like it if, used to. If he gets married uh -huh. and he's got the date set, me and you day before. If you can't make it work beforehand, yeah, we'll go get married. 
Oh, okay. shit. Yeah, to rub yeah. it in his yeah. face. Yeah, just so that you can show him the certificate right <laughs> on his wedding day. Get <laughs> yeah, yeah, really drunk. It'd be like, it's a good it idea. Out, bitch. That's a good idea. Just like courthouse marriage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I would never do a Coral's marriage. I think it's a disgrace to God. I think it's disgusting. <laughs> it's just true. like it's like this is the biggest day of your life. You're just gonna go to a courthouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. that's crazy. What are you trying to get immigration papers? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to a courthouse marriage? Uh, no, I haven't. I had one. Really? Yeah, we went to a courthouse. Uh, oh, oh nice. you did? Yeah, sorry, dude. sorry, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my grandma got um, courthouse married to my uh, step grandpa when he had dementia. Whoa! Wow! Yeah, yeah it was dude. weird. I don't know. I think it was like as a way of being able to get he cons- left conservatorship. <clears throat> basically, he left yeah. the courthouse. Didn't even remember he married her. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's for the best. If it has any of his blood in it, you know what I mean? True chance. So water. you're so you're. So you're peeling through this, uh, so this peel, wedding. Yeah, so peeling through the city, the hopping bars, you know, checking out the city. Um, and the weird thing is, too, there's fi- literally five universities around, like, the, oh, around damn. us. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, that I think that's why there's so there's so like so many connections because there's so many kids yeah, quote, yeah. Quote, walking around because right. dude i went to a couple oh, like disgusting. these college bars <laughs> and i you walked fucking through disgusting dude, animal, it's, i mean it's crazy to see kids in college and i'm like you look like children yeah and it makes you even think more of like people like with age gap rom- like romance like what is ro- like something psychologically is is, is wrong is, i think so I, I don't know we've done this before but it's come back up recently in the yeah. trends 19 year old and a 30 year old dating yeah. creepy or not that's super creepy yeah it is kind of creepy huh dating i don't know how how old was emma dude Emma underscore Lou one. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I th- I'm not sure. I can't remember what her. Well, uh, horror's dog and age and dog years. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Emma. <laughs> I'm sure you're a nice lady that just was abused. She's actually and the most beautiful woman on um, the website that I visit. So don't talk shit. I'm not talking shit. I'm saying that. I'm saying. I'm That's saying, my girlfriend. I'm saying this. I'm ending domestic violence, and oh. she's an abuse su- survivor. Well, she continues to abuse herself too. So. She it doesn't using that bean for dude. tokens, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Flicking it off. <laughs> yeah, send me stars, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. No, it's so cre- like a nineteen-year-old and a thirty-year-old. It's like what? What is okay, wrong? Okay, flip with you? the switch, dude. Nineteen-year-old dude dating a thirty-year-old lady. Creepy or not? Uh, I still say it's... actually that seems creepier to me. Does it? Yeah, that's kinkier Uh-oh. to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It seems creepier because it seems like she definitely has. Uh, a power dynamic issue. You or know, she had no. like an abortion and she misses her child and she wants to just be with a younger You guys person. are both wrong. What is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what it is is because it's actually not creepier because women age terribly. So a 19 year old would make way more sense to date or have a relationship with a fucking 30 year old old hag, dude. Yeah, That's disgusting. Dude. How are you so right all the time, dude? I just, you know, I was in Milwaukee. I can't imagine stuff. how you don't get laid. I can't it's either. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> This isn't even a hook. Like, Phoenix 2, Milwaukee 8, man. <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee 8, man. So we've decided creepy, but I, here's the caveat that we talked about in a previous episode. Mm-hmm. 19-year-old and a 30-year-old hooking up. Still super creepy or not creepy, as creepy? I think it's creepy, but I won't judge you. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think it's as creepy. It's I think, not, it's not I think as two creepy. adults, you know, having sex is is a different thing than... How about and eight, it, it also and depends on the context. Yeah, it's, it is weird. I'm not saying it's not creepy. Yeah. I'm just saying, uh, I don't know. I don't think it should be as frowned upon. Like, yeah. you no. know what I mean? Like, people look at it like you're, like, the way they look at drug addicts or something like that. I'm like, that, that's just two adults trying to have sex with each other. Yeah, trying. At some point. Trying. Because yeah. a 30-year-old can't get hard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but... Drive no, you're right because the thing is, like, with a relationship, or if you're like you're just hooking up, like, let's yeah. say you're at a bar and it's late at night, and like you're literally like she could be the most annoying person in the world, but you're like, I just want to get my dick wet, right? And if she's like, and sorry, herself, Stacey, we're for talking like this, and she's throwing herself at you, and she looks good. I mean, dude, you're the advocate for domestic abuse. Advocate, <laughs> like, I'm the caveat. Oh, <laughs> I don't, I don't like fish eggs. Dude. Oh, okay, yeah, well. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> don't, don't throw us off, dude. We're talking about stuff. I know. I, I know you get to get your dick wet and the in-laws and the hotel, but <laughs> me and CJ are struggling here, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm not even done with my out. story yet. Right, it's continue, sad, dude. You yeah. fucking keep veering off. Dude. Well, we're playing you a keep, game. You keep. <laughs> we're playing a fucking game, dude. I want to domestic violent you. <laughs> <laughs> violent you. That wasn't oh, okay. Falling yeah. apart, people. 
And then, so, you know, it was a lovely wedding. It was nice seeing family and everything like that. Um, it was nice. People. It was nice sleeping on a pullout couch <laughs> at, <laughs> as, at 33 years old. My yeah. body still hurts. And just, that was pretty Were you cool. At a hotel, dude? Yeah. Just like you. I thought about you when I was <laughs> oh, jerking yeah, off dude. in there. My sister and her husband across you the other room. Everybody jerks off into like the, the couch and shit like that, too. The well, he practices couch. safe sex, dude. That's why right. I did it on a pullout couch. I don't practice safe sex at all. Now, not even no, the pullout method, bro. You have the pullout game strong, dude. Maybe. You just jizz in there and then. Let it go. Yep. No, you Leave squeeze it, it out. You try to kind of uh, suck it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking snake bite, dude. You better exactly. snake bite. <laughs> suck out the poison. I got this. Yeah. That's what happens when you date a 30 year old when you're 19. Yeah. They're doing she so makes you suck the poison yeah, out. Yeah, that's true. God, that's the best sex of your life. I don't want to have your uh, autistic kid, dude. Suck it out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Getting gnarly 11 minutes in, folks. Yeah, well. Whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever, CJ. Thank you. All right, so <laughs> anyways, the wedding was beautiful, but I don't know about you guys. Like, have you gone to a lot of weddings and stuff like that? Mm, I've been to Not a, few. a whole lot, but enough. You've been to a couple. A few, but yeah. you're always in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm never on the prowl at a wedding. Yeah. I could, I could see it being very... Lonely, because no, not necessarily. Sad, because depressing. I mean, depending, desperate, desperate. All depending on your fucking game, dude. Because I could see it like being the the intimacy of a wedding. Yeah, be t- you see, you're seeing this couple. Oh, I'm so you know. juiced up, dude. <laughs> yeah, I like, know. I, lady, I felt it. Yeah, too. ladies get that. I, too. I, I did too, and I had so, a misconnection with somebody. So shout out, leave your boyfriend and come to Arizona. Okay, <laughs> oh, I'm. Not kidding around, all right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. How long was their relationship? Who cares? But could you be in a relationship <laughs> with somebody who left their relationship to be with you? Could it, you trust? It ended great the last time that happened. So shout out uh, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Columbus, Ohio. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom said uh, they always they always leave the way they enter the relationship. Damn, your mom's got some fucking... She's on their back, wisdom, dude. dude. Bam! Domestic <laughs> violence month. Yes. Macaroo, dude. Um, With a black eye. Yeah, so it's it's it was fun and, and you know, lovely seeing everybody, but it, it I don't know. I just have had this, like, lonely, sulking feeling, for, like, especially this last year and a half with, like, COVID and stuff like that. N- even though I don't believe that it's a disease and it's actually out there, <laughs> I still, it's made me feel a little lonely, you know? Like, I, I like how I want to be in a relationship, What do dude. you think stopping you from being in a relationship? Is it yourself? That's a good question. I, I'm ugly. You're not ugly, dude. Yeah, You're you guys a make fun guy. of me every single time. And you make fun of me every single time. You're do married I... and you have a fucking beautiful <laughs> child. What who, are you talking about? Who cares? You don't I actually care. believe that you're ugly, though, do you? Yes. I hate really? myself. But I mean, you think that you are so ugly that it's stopping you from being able to get I into a relationship? I don't know what I like. I just, I'm not, it's when I was younger, I was always having all these opportunities and now I feel like it just, it's like a Phoenix. I'm a Phoenix too. Man. How much are you, <laughs> how much are you putting yourself out there? I feel like I'm putting, I put myself out there a lot. You're taking shots and everything. I mean, you know, we heard the Circle K story. Right, okay. that's what I'm saying. The Circle K story, mm. and for folks, as a quick recap, Nick um, made eye contact. He had like all, oh, the, all of the signals with a beautiful up, chick, and he failed to even say anything or take the take the shot, yeah. and she left his life forever. Yeah. Does that is that what you mean by putting yourself out there? Yeah. That doesn't count. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're not doing a good job. Man. Well, I don't know what to do, man. I don't have, I have low you self have esteem. Look, you don't go out much. That's one way of meeting a lot of people. Yeah. You don't. Wh- s- where a zips? I'm going to go meet the love of my life at zips, dude. Did you, you used might- to rely on shows in order to meet people? I don't even know where. No, I even because you meet dip people. out afterwards because you have to work at six in the morning the day afterwards. Yeah. Like, I, I, I met a couple people that way for sure. Um, but also, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel, know. It's, it's, it's really, it's really starting to hit me. Like I know this yeah. is like a comedy podcast. We just made a bunch of domestic violence jokes. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to pull it back and I'm going to show you so the real me because the misconnection at the wedding, I'm a real person and I feel like so we can go the distance. Lead me down this misconnection, buddy. Tell me how it went. And do you think he's watching? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think so. I didn't tell him what the name of the podcast was. Uh, <laughs> damn. He'll but, find it if it's true love. But I don't know. It's, it is like self. Uh, like, Loathing. 
self-loathing because you look at everybody you're else not like, ugly. oh, they're not ugly. Though. Well, yeah, but you also look like I'm 33 now. Like everybody else is like relationships, like, like going on these crazy vacation. Like this is a, I haven't gone on vacation like this like five years. Like everybody is doing these every other couple of months. They all make more money than me going to all these places. And I'm like, that's ego based, uh, dude. When I, uh, maybe this will kind of help. Yeah, I'm listening to you right now, uh-huh. and I haven't dated. I haven't. I haven't gotten laid in three years, uh, literally, uh, and because I feel like, well, number one, I was living with a shit, trashy roommate, and like I didn't want. I'm embarrassed to bring people to where I live. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even right now, and like I'm constantly on the brink of financial despair. Yeah. So, like, those are my reasons why I can't go out and initiate stuff because I can't because it's just it's not. It wouldn't be right even to do to Mm. somebody, you know, because what if you do catch feelings and now you're hanging out with me and I'm like a fucking loser. Which you're not. To look at you, I mean, technically, uh, and I technically am. To Justin Peterson. Y'all got to look at your. (laughs) Y'all got to take some (laughs) advice from a homeboy, Riley. Couple weeks ago, he's like, "Y'all got to look in this yourself in the mirror." We are, and we're That's seeing what we're, what, we're looking at our reflections. Where like it's fucking <laughs> yeah. terrible, <laughs> but it's interesting Thanks because God. I feel like you've got everything you need. So that's why mm. I'm, I'm I'm very I'm genuinely confused as to what it is that that you feel like keeps you from making that leap. But maybe that's just like the grass is always greener. It's like everybody has their own internal things, and I don't know, man. It sucks. So. I think you need it's to try. I think I think you need to try a little harder. To I agree, but maybe you're not ready yet. Maybe you don't actually want that. You're just still in the phase of building up to wanting that. Maybe but you're maybe. idolizing that. That could be true. And you say everybody's in a relationship. Everybody's doing better than me. But like, how many of those relationships are actually going to function? How how many of those relationships are going to go the distance? You yeah, know? that's true. And not every relationship. I hope they all fail, dude. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's good. They're not all good either. I, like I know a lot of like I have a, a close friend who I think of immediately who is just shout them out, dude. Um, they uh, <laughs> they constantly are in a relationship. They've they've since I've known them when I was a teenager. Yeah, they've never not been with somebody. As soon as they break up, mm-hmm. they're with somebody else. Right. Well, I I went through yeah. like I've talked about that on here. I know like in our earlier days when this is like a lot of what the podcast was but like from 14 to like 26 or 27 i literally was in a relationship of some sort that Mm -hmm. whole time so then i was like all right i need to do this like internal working because i started started seeing these patterns with the people i was dating and like i don't want that's not what i'm looking for you know and so i was like i tried to take a good hard look at myself we started doing a lot of challenges and stuff like that it got really into exercising and a lot of things like trying to improve my life to like attract be like a magnet in some way but it fucking hasn't worked. So that, I think that's like one of the hard things with, I don't know. I think one of the biggest things, and, and this is one of the only things somebody's ever said with that I've noticed in my own life, is that the only time you attract women, seems like, is when you are, when they see you doing some, the thing that you're passionate about. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it's weird because like they need, like, and, and it's just like you said, it's all the evidence of, of, the fact that you're somebody who's going for it and that you have like drive and determination and you know, they're basically kind of making the gamble on whether or not you're going to succeed. And if they're dumb enough to gamble on you, then you win. Yeah, exactly. Well, but that's also like, but that is, that's a true thing. Like people do say that like, that's what women like or something like something that's passionate, passionate about something that's like supporting like that ride or die kind of thing, you know? But maybe like when you get older, it becomes a different thing. But not really, because I think even my standards, it it messes with it a little bit. Because I'm like, all right, I do all these certain things to try to make my life better. And like, okay, what are you, what are you doing? But that's what I wonder if maybe the only issue is that um, you're not, that that situation is not coalescing in your in your strategy. So mm. there's not there there are less times, especially since we're not being able to go out and perform and stuff like that, which is such a huge part of what you do. Yeah, that like women don't get the chance to see you doing the thing that you love most. You know what I mean? As much, and so well, tune into who do you think you are? <laughs> yeah, but that's just it. It's just that's what I think is maybe it's maybe it's partly that since those natural opportunities are being stifled by the conditions that mm. we're under right now because of the pandemic. You you know it's up to you just like the way we did you know our the creative endeavors like we had to boost those during Find the different pandemic. Ways. Yeah, we have to do that same thing yeah. with forming relationships with people in any capacity. Yeah, you're also like not going to the gym anymore. Not that you're not working out, but you're like working out at home and stuff. You're not yeah. seeing people. Like it's just it's it's different, man. Yeah, it is different. It's a different world. It's I it's it's sad because I feel like it's not gonna really 
this is just the way that you just start turning, man. You know, this is just the way the world's going to be. And I'm so sick of online dating. and. But that's what I mean. I think you have to fight it. Dude, yeah. Like fight what? Protest the girls? And, uh, um, the complaint. Yeah, you have to fight <laughs> women. That's what I'm talking about. Um, you remind me of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get a relationship. Oh. This has got to remind you of your dad. Dude. Stockholm syndrome. Oh, um, damn, hell yeah. To utilize it. Well, I have male uh, pattern balding. What's it? Why do you say that? Like most girls' dads. Yeah, male so. part, pattern balding. Yeah. yeah. So that should be a turn on. That's why I don't uh, understand yeah. why it's not working. And that's an indication of high testosterone, ladies. Hell yeah, dude. I can fucking Damn, rock dude. hard because I haven't came in so long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I masturbated three times when I got home. Did you? Yeah, I just... I had that. I don't. Dude, I don't. Know wedding come. Day. I had this wedding <laughs> come. Wedding build up. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> did you not? Uh, up, did you not have your own room? Like, were you sharing? I, yeah, room? I have my own room. You didn't rub one out in the hotel. I want to keep my like. What's what's uh what's the word the. Juju, <laughs> what is it? What's the word? I'm like blanking on words. Does he today. like chi? Yeah, chi. Yeah, I want oh, to keep my chi. Okay, because right. I don't know if this is real, but I've heard enough. This is why, like, I do stay away from porn and and masturbating because supposedly there's like an animalistic thing mm. that when you you do actually have that, like, they can kind of see. It's like a little twinkle in your eye. You know what I mean? So I actually I do fight that urge because I feel like maybe that I don't know I'm like trying everything I'm trying I'm telling you I'm trying I'm not jerking <laughs> off I'm watching porn uh, are my pheromones not working what is <laughs> but now like our Instagram like reels and search feed just like it's a trap and like they're just get laying it out on the table for oh, me oh my god jeez the girls on Instagram fucking. Your dad should be ashamed of you, okay? <laughs> this is gross, okay? I'm 33 years old, and you're dancing and trying all these lingerie outfits on. And Most stuff. of their dads probably subscribe, dude. Yeah, probably. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Why is that disgusting? They're proud of their daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I support you, honey. This could go... Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> we held ourselves back twice today. Yeah. From what? From... Punching girls? Bad jokes. Oh. Mine wasn't a bad joke. I just don't want to do it to Pedro. Oh, do what to me, dude? Yeah. You can't just leave it at that now, dude. Yes, I can. You pretty much did it to me by saying that. Uh, quick shout out here. <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's move along to the WDUTUR comment of along the anything, week. Uh, the comment of the week this week for Who Do You Think You Are goes out to local musician and retired police officer, Mr. Bradford Knights, everybody. Woo! Bradford Knights. Bradford, uh, you can go check out our interviews uh, with Bradford, episodes 145 and 153 of Who Do You Think You Are podcast. Oh, he's been on twice. Did huh? he pay him to do this? So. Also, check out Bradford Ska Band, Mr. Incommunicado, at the link in the description. Uh, they've got a gig coming up next week, next Friday. Ooh, look at that, dude. Why are Janie's you Coffee Cone. Where at? Uh, at Janie's in Cave Creek. Janie's. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a swingers bar. Is it really? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever be a swinger? No. I Your don't second think I marriage? Do that, dude. Maybe my second marriage. Yeah, I yeah. could see that. The 19-year-old? Yeah, yeah. yeah, with the 19-year-old. I could see you dating young and when you get older. You, and if you would be a swinger, let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> you got to play to win. Leave us a juicy comment, and maybe you can be our featured comment uh, next week on Who Do You Think You Are. Thanks yeah, so much. Dude. Back Aww. to you guys in the studio. I love you. I love you, too. Bradford. CJ, you're all right. <laughs> kind of making me sad, dude. You guys are both making me sad. I don't want to do this. You're making yourself sad, dude. I know. You're right. And I'm trying to flip it. You're. Not, I know, dude. You're flipping you're, like a pancake, you're so, baby. You're so right, man, because I'm like, I'm bitching about going on a fucking vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like just I, picked I read, apart the worst parts of your vacation. But and no, that's man, it's just like th these are the feelings that stick to me, you know, and I know like it's my responsibility but you're, to uh, change almost, that. It almost seems like you're idolizing these like relationships i miss being in love i'm sorry i have disney pre i like being with somebody you don't think so it's fucking with somebody i want dude. to i'm fucking, I'm fucking talking about you fucking do asshole then fucking God do damn it. it just do it god <laughs> jesus christ dude you're lucky you're not my girlfriend you have fucking two black eyes you have to call <laughs> sick to work tomorrow okay King <laughs> Happy domestic violence month, everybody. Yeah, happy, 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 domestic <laughs> happy domestic violence month. It's like month. we were like advocating anti-domestic violence and now we're just for it. Um, I'm, I'm about to have a ways. panic attack on the podcast because I'm smoking weed and I keep having panic attacks every time I smoke weed. So just heads you up. You probably shouldn't smoke weed then. Yeah, dude. Maybe no, that's like shouldn't. an indicator. An indica sativa. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I think he was just saying a sentence and he tried to make a joke out of it and it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. And he tried deflecting it back at him, dude. 
Now you're making his panic attack worse, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be in his head this whole time. All right, so we're 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 going somewhere with that. You were yelling at me and about to oh, hit yeah, me. Sorry, I sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm I'm full of cum. Okay, I've been I'm you know, I've been had a couple more days off, and I'm just looking at these staring at these girls on Instagram dancing because I don't look at porn like this is any better. And no, I'm just walking around with a hard dick and blue balls. Now you're just master. <laughs> now you're just master. I don't masturbate to it. That's gross. <laughs> And the, 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 really the podcast, uh, Instagram page, it's really like, I go to mine, I compare them every once in a while. Yeah. Podcast one is just tits and ass. Tits. You know what I mean? Mine's got skateboards well, and musicians and stuff. I'm the ass dude. You're I'm ass too. Oh, don't, you're oh yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong at all. <laughs> you know, what's kind of interesting. What? I love big tits, love a big ass. Mm -hmm. I kind of like a big ass with small tits better than I love a big ass with big tits. Mm. The worst, though, of one of body shame women is a uh, big tits, small <laughs> ass. <laughs> but big tits, God, small ass. It's very unfortunate. That. Is very unfortunate. It's very yeah, unfortunate. Like, that's nineties cheerleader status. It but, is. Yep. How, well, like, is it worse having no tits, no ass? Is that no? Because like, you're a little fucking uh, spinner. Oh. No tits, yeah. no, no ass. ass, no tits. I can't get behind this chant. No ass. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's anti-trans, dude. You guys should. You oh. should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know, man. Y'all, you like what you like. Do you guys watch Dave Chappelle's new special? No, not yet. Yeah. Is Did it you? out? Yeah, it's out. Did yeah, I watched watch it today. How was, was it? Good? It's good. Yeah. Any? That's extremely underwhelming. Well, I don't want to like give. Dave's I don't want to give anything. Why not? Oh, like it, is it a lot of comedy or is it like the? It was like pro, a. Pro, it was pro, a. What is the was, word I'm saying? It was closing pro, a chapter. It was like closing a chapter on. No, not even closing a chapter, ending a book per se of like kind of a lot of the jokes that he's been getting in trouble for for the years and closing it out with kind of like that. It was a great like the story and the message of it was was there wasn't well as many punchlines as maybe you know what I mean. It was more like an 846 kind of. But more humor based. OK, more humor based. But yeah, he's basically looking back on all the things like people were trying like yelling at him and stuff for like talking about and trying to like find a way to like get together and then just be like oh, this is my what's this like his last one for a while he says is it like george he like Carlin starts it that him. way yeah 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 but i don't blame it i feel like in the if you're shaping an act in this last like year and a half that's kind of the way to do it in a way because you are talking podcasts are getting a lot more popular but you look at like it i mean it's just a different form if you're looking at somebody like shane gillis's special or oh, mark norman geez. special or dave chappelle and i feel like dave chappelle silly, they, silly yeah and but they are kind of it, it comes to beg the question when you're at this level of Dave Chappelle, sh he should be addressing the the biggest biggest separations of our society in a way. Like he can't just go in there like be making dick jokes and or whatnot. Even though like kicker in the pussy, that one joke it like and he opens with the punchline and says, "I'm still gonna make you laugh." Yeah, yeah. it's still like silly. Yeah, like he's he's and he's and he's incredible. demonstrating his expertise with that joke. Exactly, yeah. but. So I feel like there maybe there is some kind of justice like he doesn't need to talk about like the LGBTQT <laughs> and stuff like that. But I feel like he did. He made it funnier in the last ones. And this one was more being like, hey, we're all kind of in this together. But you guys are yelling at us just as bad, essentially, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. I'm, so I'm I was excited also, to look for I'm excited to watch it. But also think about the last 20 minutes of podcasting of like the shit place I've been in. So like I like comedy probably also sometimes doesn't hit you at the right times. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like, I could have like, it could have been way over my head. I was like busy looking at girls dancing and singing. <laughs> yeah, shit, yeah. like, I just want to fucking, Giving yourself blue balls. Just want to get yeah. married, dude. I want to have a daughter that, you know, raise it with Pedro and they're just hanging out together. Pedro's daughter, sorry, not trying to raise it with you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're open, if you're open to it, you're doing a good job. As soon as your long. wife dumps you, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. How long do you think? How long? Before she dumps me. Couple of years. As soon as this, uh, as soon as she really figures out that this podcast isn't going anywhere, how dare you? Stop <laughs> doing that. Okay. Yeah. This is all I have. Two negative See, Nancy's I know. Over here, Jesus dude. Christ, dude. I was including you in that sentence. Yeah, but at least I'm not putting down this. Okay. That's true, yeah, that's true, dude. <laughs> I'll kill myself before I end this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and by doing that, kidding. you will end this podcast. And I will. Yeah, but I kill. It's, I. You know. I. I get you. Yeah, I get you. No, you're trying to put the blame on me. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely 100% yeah. putting the blame on you. If you kill yourself, this podcast will end. 
And really? It would all be because of you. But maybe it'd blow up. Until. Do you think me and you would do a podcast after? I think we could do that, dude. Just restart it? Yeah. So a new do it the right way? Like, yeah. Yeah. Not like... Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see you guys get an episode out on a timely manner every week. <laughs> <laughs> fucking losers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That was good. No. Fuck you then, dude. All right. Just giving you props. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I don't know if I was camping on that God, mob, man, mob that style. Dude. Marijuana <laughs> smells so damn good. Yeah. When you had a minute away from it. Yeah. I know. I never smell it while smoking or if I'm constantly smoking. Yeah. It's always when you like, but when step you're not, away. you're like for the audience, oh. Pedro is doing sober October this month. <laughs> yeah. He, we all said we were, but he's, yeah, he's and the you one who's clearly doing it. I'm starting on Friday. What day of the month is that? What's Friday. The, the four. The 17th, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the 24th. <laughs> yeah, Mid month. Today's the fifth, dude. So Friday would be what? Whatever, dude. All right. Can you just support me once? Just for once, can you fucking support me? I've done Friday's nothing. Eighth, I've done nothing in my whole entire life but support you, Nick. Really? How have you supported me? Because I pay uh, our fucking SoundCloud every month. I put the video. <laughs> How many together. shows did I go watch you at, dude? Yeah, but how many shows have has CJ had to fill in with you? And all of a sudden, I'm trying. I'm trying to train this autistic kid to take your spot when Rachel dumps you and you fall apart. <laughs> God, I hope you kill yourself before that. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. We're a positivity podcast. We don't yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we really are. Well, I don't know. For me, it's been fucking nothing but negative since my house fire. Yeah. Well, no. not not really. It's just been Fauci such a did. house. Yeah, Fauci did it. That's deep state. Deep state. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, extra deep state. It's dealing with insurance, adjusters, contractors, all that shit, man. It's just been. I've been staying at the hotel. I couldn't handle my in-laws anymore. Is that why you did that? I needed a break, dude. Yeah. Well, fa a break. family is a lot sometimes. So it's really good. I mean, not well, even in a bad way. Like even just that weekend, I'm like, I also, I like really need my own space. Yeah. And well, it's not even like, it's not even just like me needing to get away from it because it really wasn't that bad, but I felt like a burden. You know, and uh, like being there. So well, she's like giving you bread and bed and breakfast. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much every day. She like <laughs> she did she did our laundry like two, twice. So it's like yeah. What are you, my mom? Did she clip your toenails? <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> I would have stayed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like I just I just felt like you know where you can kind of sense people's energy. Like you oh you can you can tell you're impeding a bit because they've been used to having you know an empty nest for for a while even though mm. you know their daughter one of their daughters is still staying there so they're kind of like banging in their one of the rooms like oh, i forgot you guys were here no <laughs> oh, dude I'm, gl I'm so glad i didn't hear any of that <laughs> and is, they didn't hear us so hey <laughs> oh! chris in that bed must up not later. have been very good then no it son of a bitch is her mom hot <laughs> <laughs> Almost got gotcha, you. She's a Milwaukee. A she's job, a Milwaukee dude. six. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say Georgia good. seven, maybe. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Got that peach on her. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying Nick's mom is no. a six. Yeah, yeah, what he's saying is the peach doesn't fall far far from the tree. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Family dude. full of peaches. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke a little tree. Moving to the country. You're gonna eat, eat a lot, lot of peaches. peaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so we've been at a hotel since last Thursday. And it's like, it's so weird living out of a hotel instead mm -hmm. of like vacationing and staying in a hotel. Like it's... You're like a drug addict. Yeah. Without the drugs. Yeah. I'm sober fucking October. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Jesus. That's and then my wife bought beer and she's like, we're staying at a hotel, so I'm, I'm just going to get some beer. And I'm just like, cool. Tempt me. Why don't you... That's a temptress. In the Bible, you know what happened? You know what Jesus does to her? Puts a letter on her chest, dude. Temptress? No. Takes them to the top of a field, drowns the whole city around her, and the water moves up to her, then all moves down. She has to live with the death of the community. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. You learn something religious every day, too. Oh, damn. Yeah. Put a little flip on that, dude. I'm gonna fucking flip you over this table after this. Is done. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking jerk off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking rub one out, you do this. disgusting flashback. 
How are you liking the hotel as far as the the bangy bangies, dude? Are you getting any oh, fucking with the freaky two year old hotel? daughter? Oh, oh, voyeur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Oh, it's happening Whoa, a lot. Whoa, is that how cocks are made? You, Holy shit, am I traumatizing my daughter, yeah, dude? You, you got to get the babysitter for one night, hit up the jacuzzi. You Threesome. Know? Let your Nazi <laughs> wife get lit. God damn, Nick. King Chris good. Disgusting my piece of shit. Button no wonder you don't have sorted. anybody in your fucking life, man. <laughs> <laughs> got you guys. You guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Say racist stuff with me, homophobic stuff. I after, feel right at home. After everything you said, I think that was the saddest thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah, dude. I got you. Just your tone was like, I got you. You got you even stuttered a little bit. Well, because, right? No, you do have us. Okay, though. thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Damn. See, you're even unsure of that, dude. Yeah. I got you, babe. Oh. You got to be sure it, it, within yourself, dude, in your answers. You look like a Peruvian soccer player that has AIDS. You <laughs> crees <laughs> que eres? <laughs> I'd be a lot. I'd be a lot skinnier if I had AIDS. Yeah. Maybe, you just got it. Maybe yeah, like dude. diabetes. You just got it. Just, just got it. You sprained an ankle just, during the pandemic. It says I have AIDS. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down. Hell yeah, dude. You'd still do me, dude. Shut up. Because you can get a. You just take a pill every month. I take That's vitamins true, every huh? day. Is it full blown or just HIV, dude? That's a good question. I mean, really, you roasted really it, question. so what? You get to decide. I roasted the pill. You roasted me, dude. Oh. I like to freebase ivermectin. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Be fun. Boof it up. Yeah, I boofed three tablets yesterday, dude. <laughs> What's boofing? Uh, it's where you take your pill and you put it in your butt. Suppository. Essentially. But with drugs. You, you know, you need to say. I mean, you, any, you need a cool word. Any pill that you're boofing? Boof. Yeah. Boof it, Nikki. Check out CJ's new show, Boofing with CJ. <laughs> Where every single week I boof a new substance. I boof for something new. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. And then you just record And watch it. a new Nicolas Cage film. And then you just Nicolas record Cage. an episode, dude, after you boofed it? Yeah, boof it and wa and commentary to a different Nicolas Cage film. He boofs and woofs, dude. It's so, so popular yeah. on TikTok. Boof and woof. Asians love yeah. it. Yeah. Boof. Woof, 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 woof. That's it. Every week you just dress upside down. The internet's crazy. We try our hardest here. We spill our hearts on the floor. And I'm this so his, his video is doing better than this. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a crazy world out there. You don't think I tried with my last video, dude? No, it was good. I learned. I tried. It, it took me good. four takes. Really? Yes. Nice. And thanks to everybody on Instagram following us and liking our stuff and all that. Especially the ones with the tits. <laughs> Jesus, there's so much sexual tension in this room. Dude, right? at the wedding, like it did something to me, dude. I want to have as many kids as possible right now. Really? <laughs> I want to have a field I mean, of children. I talked about your pullout game <laughs> being strong. Just fucking plant them. I talked about your pullout game being strong, but now you're not pulling out. No, I'm pulling out at all. Damn. I have that. I relate to that so hard because every Risky time I business. talk to a chick and like get any kind of vibe, within seconds, I'm imagining that she's telling me she wants to have children. Oh, right yeah. Now. I'm a psychopath. That's mm -hmm. sociopathic behavior. I do that same thing. I'm like, oh, dude, we're going to have a beautiful life. Yeah. Everything's going to turn around. <laughs> And it's such a good day until she's yeah. like, oh, yeah, and then my boyfriend, and you're just like, then you fucking absolutely hate the bitch. I must kill I him. must kill you. I will kill Death. your boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Death is certain. He might be bigger than me, and he might have a bigger car. And a bigger bank account, but he's going to have a slash throat. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> and I will raise your children now. Yes. No, they're dead, too. I don't want to raise your Slut children. <laughs> <laughs> Your whore born children, dude. You oh, pig. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Make love to your dead corpse. <laughs> and you have no idea the woman from the woman's perspective, she has no idea. She's just like, hey, and she like lingered yeah, on eye contact yeah. a little too long and all I'm, this going on. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty chill. I just met him at the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you already murdered her four different ways. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna split roast her with my friends. <laughs> yeah. Take her to Disney World. <laughs> but yeah, she better dude. be faithful or yeah. I'm gonna hit her in it, the head with a hammer. Oh yeah. You go hammer? So, yeah, I'd go hammer. Yeah. That's brutal. You like the splatter aspect, <laughs> huh? It's, not, it's quick. It's not quick it's at, not all. at all. It's quick if you do it, right? <laughs> oh, my God. 
Use the gun you have over there. He's <laughs> using up the opposite side to plunge out the eyes. Why and the would teeth. I waste ammunition on a little tiny weak woman? Damn, Whoa. little tiny weak woman. Jeez. That's what he's into. <laughs> the Aren't they all? Yeah, Emma underscore sixty nine. What was her name? Dude? Oh yeah. Huh? <laughs> I got distracted, bro. You look like fucking Trans Selena. <laughs> Trans oh. Selena, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I'll 2005 edition. I'm not even wearing a dress. Dude, I just, I was in the car the other day and a Selena song came on that I didn't know that my mom listens to and I listened to as a kid that I was getting down on Selena back wait, in the wait, day. Back, what dude? song? You went down I on think, Selena, bro? That's I went down on her. That, fuck. I can't uh, remember what it was anymore. I fucking wish. But I was so surprised. I was like, dude, Selena was in my culture, in you my remember car. remember the name of the song, dude? I, I can't. I what was remember. the car? What, uh, what kind of car? Now you're confusing what me. Were you driving in? Uh, I don't, Chevy a Lumina? rental car? I think it a was rental a rental car in Lumina. Milwaukee. And I was like, Selena. She was banging, huh? I don't know. Was she? Yeah, she was. Really? She had that peach doggy. <laughs> Did she really? Oh, I yeah. didn't think she was all that attractive. I mean, there are there are way hotter Hispanic chicks than Selena, right? Oh, there's hot Hispanic chicks for oh, sure. Way hotter. Latinas yeah, are Latinas. hot, bro. Latinos, Latinas. <laughs> you know your search history, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Duck, Pete's duck. a little bit hotter than Selena, I would you say. So? Really? Yeah. You got a cuter face. Dude. I would say you're probably homosexual then. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why I can't get a girl? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Son of a. Dude. Son of a frick. Have you come out to your parents yet? I haven't even come out to myself. He hasn't even said hello <laughs> to his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, twice in one week. What was it, like a couple weeks ago? A lot. I remember one time when I was a little kid, I can't remember what I was asking about, but it was something about, you know, something was growing weird. I think it was maybe when my nipples started getting puffy right before puberty. That uh, happens? Yeah. Uh -huh. so Why do we keep on talking about our, like, underage sex things? Now, every week. This it's is a, a men's week. health podcast, dude. Right. Continue puffy nips. You were <laughs> and, uh, and I went in to ask my parents about it, my mom and my stepdad. And uh, I remember my mom, her, like, only reaction was, like she didn't know what I was about to say and I was trying to figure out how to describe it and she goes, Please don't tell me you're gay. Oh, I can't damn, handle that right dude. now. Damn. Was she too hot? She roasted you, dude. She's funnier than you. <laughs> <laughs> My stepdad was like was like he like stood up for me. He's like, Don't say that, dude. If you're gay, you just say you're gay. I'm like, I'm not gay, dude. <laughs> Go on, come guzzler. Puffy nipples. <laughs> just, yeah. you just got puffy up nipples, you wanna suck a cock. It's okay, son. <laughs> It only happens to facts. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you should fuck. be ashamed of yourself. Thank you, CJ. I am every day of my life. Thank you, Rand Paul. You kind of look like Mexican Rand Paul, dude. <laughs> 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 fucking Transalina, Rand Paul, fucking Peruvian AIDS having motherfucker. What, Soccer next, player. Dude? That's a compliment. Yeah. yeah, well, my career's over. <laughs> I got AIDS. <laughs> you can still play. No, Unless you're in the NBA. Yeah, they're not allowed to touch vaccine. me. Right? vaccine. Dude, traveling, the wearing masks, vaccine. I forgot how much that sucks. And also, oh, did you flew, God right? bless Arizona, dude. Fuck, I, vote red, people. Stay <laughs> right, stay <laughs> Republican, stay true. <laughs> I, I've I started cheering before I realized you just said vote red, and I was just like, oh, shit, what am I agreeing to right now? Yeah, I did, this is the Donald Trump method. I started kind of straight, like, yeah, I got him along with this, dude. <clears throat> but no, traveling and wearing a mask everywhere and stuff and just... Oh, Milwaukee's pretty locked down or what? Well, so airports are super locked. I yeah. mean, you're wearing masks everywhere. Yeah, I would have Except drove. for when you sit down and you... It's just like the silliness of it all still. We have to acknowledge the silliness of it. We have to acknowledge that going onto an airplane, crammed together in a box, and we take them down to eat and drink the snacks that the airplane feeds us for what is... More than 15 minutes for every single passenger. Yeah. We are defeating the purpose. I'm sick of these fucking rules being in place that we're abiding by that make absolutely no sense. So they duct taped me to a goddamn fucking <laughs> chair. And I said, I parents have two million dollars. <laughs> so they paid for this. Millions of people that got the shots, they're just stupid. stupid. Yep. Yep. And yep. they don't even serve alcohol on planes anymore, which isn't good for an alcoholic. What? I'm going to trip out a little Since bit. Since when yeah, did dude. this not that COVID? COVID. It's destroyed everything. What I is care this about hoax going to go away? I don't care about it killing millions of people. Just serve alcohol on a fucking airplane. <laughs> That's worse. Fuck your grandma. Give me a whiskey. <laughs> I'd rather all of my relatives die and be able to have an IPA on an airplane. Okay, people? <laughs> get your life together. <laughs> no wedding. Fuck but how wedding. do you get that through to the masses? How do you? The WDUTR podcast. They keep on putting down, CJ, yeah, okay. okay? We're shadow banned. I we, will speak to them mostly. I mean, <laughs> we will be soon. That's yeah. why we, we keep on putting out the message of the tired and true. 
red, white, and blue people. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram tired shut and down. True. What did I say? Higher? Tired and true. <laughs> tired and true, baby. I am pretty tired. I'm tired too. I'm true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm tired more often after COVID. Yeah. Yeah. I feel scared oh. that it damaged me in a permanent way. Mm. But I can't afford health insurance, so I can't find out. I know what you mean. I'm the same way. But you guys don't have health insurance, dude? No, health insurance Fuck is for no. I don't even have car insurance right now. <laughs> oh yeah. That would think that would be him. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Luckily I had a kick ass home insurance policy. So that's true. Oh, shit. You're stupid rich person. I'm not <laughs> a <laughs> person. Oh, dude. I'm just living in a hotel and people are fixing my house with my pool. I'm gonna tackle you from behind next time you're doing your yeah. lawn, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I have a feeling that's not gonna be only tackling. I'm gonna fucking piss into your CPA machine or whatever they're called. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped using it, dude. Did you really? Yep. I learned how to breathe that night. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, how'd you I, what'd I you sleep on my side, <laughs> side belly. You didn't try this before getting a machine, you <laughs> idiot. I did, but I think I've I've lost a little bit of weight too, so that kind of helps out. Hell yeah, dude! Good job. Yeah, thanks. Well, congratulate this fucking fat piece of shit. <laughs> this fucking lard. You butter. learned how to lay. This, you learned how to roll over, dude. This, good job. Don't yeah, don't give this Milwaukee <laughs> three this cow any credit. Dude. He had to roll over to the side and lose a little weight instead of getting a thousand dollar machine. You're forgetting uh, married Milwaukee three. Uh, Happy with a baby. Hey, Milwaukee take it easy, three, dude. dude. Low, oh, blow, blow. Take take it it easy. Easy. low blow, blow, Rand Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Low blow. Twelve year relationship, married Milwaukee three, dude. You're a Milwaukee buckhead. Dude, dude, whatever, dude. You look like the horse on your shirt. Or a clean comedy. Yeah, dude, I have a huge cock. I'm no, you have a long <laughs> face. Oh. Is that you're always sad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you sharpie your tattoo. Okay, man, relax. <laughs> I have. I I'm bored at night. Digging into the into the you know oldies but goodies bag for Pedro. Yeah, there. yeah. Cause Cause he's desperate. Bag. He's desperate. He's on the end, edge of a cliff. He's, he's got hit by the three. Life. He's got a three piece. Dude, what happened? Right now, dude. Desperate. I don't know. If you go back to the five minutes of this episode, yeah. somebody sounds desperate. Really? <laughs> it was Jason, Jason, JS, dude. Was it the guy always putting everybody down? Because that's a really cool personality trait. <laughs> you? You're talking about yourself? Okay. Okay. Moving on, dude. Dave Grohl, speaking of never mind, <laughs> uh, he's saying, he's you know, suing back, dude. No, he's saying maybe they should change the artwork. And what a cuck. What a, a, cut a little to bit. The liberals, and he dude. is. He is. Is he, though? <clears throat> no. Keep child pornography available. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I would like to establish there's no such thing as child pornography oh. and continue to use child sexual abuse material in our vernacular. Okay, I just want to say that. That's probably smart. But I was going to say, Thank why you. don't we pitch some ideas about what they could replace the cover of Nevermind with instead of a kid with a little penis out? You got one? Okay. No, I'm asking you and CJ. What was um, Kurt Cobain's ideas? But like, they they offered to put a sticker over the baby, like over the censorship. baby's penis. Yeah. But mm. uh, but if they were going to do that, Kurt said they had to put. If you have a problem with this, if you have a problem with this picture, you're probably a closet pedophile. Yeah, dude, mm. and I completely agree with that. Whatever happened to that guy? <laughs> I think we should burn the record and I destroy should, it from our digital library because think of how easy you can destroy music now since it really only lives China, digitally. China, China. Let's delete this. Just fucking hit the. Do you buttons. remember like episode like sixty something? We were all so pro China, dude. And really? We were so <clears throat> anti China. What were we pro China? That's why we need to bring this guy on because we were steering the wrong way. Yeah. Why were we pro? Ding, ding. Oh, I was like, I thought it, I was like, I'm tripping, dude. Like, <laughs> is this a stroke? I have Milwaukee Delta COVID now, oh, which shit, is a dude. different strain from a different I shouldn't place. really be hanging out with you, dude, because you didn't even quarantine. Yeah, you that. endangered all of us. Yeah, you guys don't have much to live for. He's living in a fucking hotel. <laughs> so pathetic, dude. You have 67 cents in your bank account, okay? I'm tired of you guys firing at me because I got stuff too, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, burn it from the library. It's kind of it's kind of crazy you could do that now. That's it. I mean, let's go into the Facebook Instagram shutting down, right? What? It, how we you really start seeing like and who's control or Google all these things are with the search terms right mm -hmm. all these things are starting to come out and it's going to be like okay but the government wants to be involved in the thing that basically is this social network this loop this the internet that connects all of, all of us together and now they're really seeing like this manipulates people this controls people it does literally everything the government wants to do 
So now it's like, you don't okay. think they're behind it already, though? I mean, I'm sure in some sense, but not to the degree like China is where they can mm. literally wipe things off the Internet that you can't de definitely can't search or look up. Yeah. And it becomes this thing where they've talked about, you know, it's the social social credit of how you act. So like, let's say you go on the Internet, you have to put in your social security number, you, whatever you Google search will now impact like your credit score with how much money you can have for how much you can put down on a house. Yeah. Like there's all these things that start getting crazy with and then the passports and the boosters. And it's like, man, it's 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 scary. So, uh, like 9-11 was scary when it happened, even thinking that's a conspiracy. But at the same time, you're like, they weren't they were starting. Maybe it takes many, many years, I guess, maybe to even 20 years. slow slowly make some of these things happen right yeah maybe absolutely. that's what it is maybe that was the plan 20 years ago they knew because if it is these these uh families that have been invested inside of these like political places for hundreds of years they're like they're just passing the buck like this is what we believe in this is what we're doing this is the future goal and this is what we want to end up doing yo this is a syllabus and this is what we're gonna get done yeah and then we're just we're accelerating that so quickly now with technology like we're starting to see what almost the packages that like okay here here we are it's kind of like the veil's been lifted. It, it is. It's scary. And I think they realize that now, too. They realize, like, with Epstein, they realize with these, like, sex rings, like, shout out Columbus, Ohio. You know, we lost a lot of listeners after 116 or 161 61, people. yeah. People got arrested for a sex ring. 161 yeah. people. We, yeah. In America. This, in America. We're, and this isn't on the news? Yesterday. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, we we need to go back into into the 1600s and write the wrongs of slavery back then. But we're not going to write the wrongs of slavery happening in right Ohio now. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, dude. So <sighs> explain to me why it's did crazy. why did it shut down? Like, is there have they given like a reason for the, the shutdown? The why they shut down the child trafficking ring? Yeah, because I'm all for it, dude. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what else do you go to Columbus, yeah. Ohio for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had a good ring going on. A couple Airbnbs. That's the best pizza ring. parlors. The pizza was Everybody great. Everybody envied that ring. <laughs> yeah. The Facebook um, crash was just uh, supposedly a, a bad update. Mm. Mm. Uh, it just so happened to occur um, right after the uh, leak, um, the Facebook leak, where the you know whistleblower rather the Facebook whistleblower right. came out and said that Facebook knows that it's that it's basically trafficking in hateful material yeah they they try to do, they do that because they know it works better and they have more interaction like they they choose as a business model like we know like even if it's not right for the country for the people we're going to do this because it's going to it's more foot traffic it's yeah. more money yeah so so she basically came out and said facebook is you know doing a, is purposefully is purposefully <clears throat> doing an unethical practice uh and it's harming society and the argument is that the government now needs to censor uh, social media platforms more. That's scary. It's scary. And, and regulate. You know what I did today? I deactivated my Facebook account, dude. Good job, dude. We said so we did that together like a year and, and a I, half ago. And I did it for about six months and it was great. It was freeing. But then I jumped back on, dude. It's addictive. And that's how it sucks you in. <clears throat> I jumped back on. I've been back on for probably the past year. We have candy shackles now, dude. And, yeah. and what? Candy shackles? Candy shackles. We enjoy them. Oh yeah, got to we ravers? Well, it's dude? like the what's it the, the uh, servitude? It's like slavers. Ravers. It's like well, it's, they changed that word, right? Where it's like we're proud of our it's servitude, right? Like we will own nothing, but we will become yeah happy servants that? because what we're given. Yeah, but they, but it, it's given a different name. It's like um, you know, China. The idea of servitude expanded across society. I, know, what, I can't I can't remember. I know I can't think of the word, of it, but it's so it's so spot on. And you see it happening to people because, like we were saying earlier in, in our chat, like, all right, ha a lot of Facebook people are like, dude, that's crazy. Why are we going to go to this different platform? But and then you know, put in our driver's license or social security number. They're like, well, now this is better because now we can control. Now we know it's real people that are interacting with us. Like, oh, do we? Because people will still infiltrate it through different countries, like 100%. through propaganda and that will yeah. still happen. But they trick us as Americans being like, no, it feels safer now. It feels yeah. more real. It's like, it's not real. That's the crazy thing. The crazy thing that's happening more than anything right now is what isn't real is for is like put out as news without going deeper than that. And it's very obvious and proven in many cases. Proven by the scientific people that they were also talking about weeks ago or saying like you should be preaching or praying to these people. Mm -hmm. 
it's it's cr- it's very scary. It's and it's scary that people are so with it. So I think um, you know around 2015 is when um, the news got forced onto our phones because you remember like you didn't always have the news on your phone by autom- automatically. Mm-hmm. That started happening after it came out that people were getting the majority of their news from social media. Oh, that's true, huh? They found a way to infiltrate it in a way, huh? Yeah, that's interesting. And then in 2015, um, I feel Damn. like when th- I've never thought about that. And everybody started to uh, that's crazy to, to realize that the news is losing its its uh, its um, authority, and that people get it from all these different sources now. Instead and of, and I feel like what we're seeing is they're trying to dry up all those yeah side things, and they are sources, doing it. Yeah. They crowded out Alex Jones and all of the fringe <clears throat> stuff, and now it just keeps getting the the, the Overton window keeps closing. Yeah, yeah. man, that's crazy. Woo. <laughs> Let's play a game, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I've got a game for you guys. Nick, Ew. Uh, you gave me COVID, dude. And the game is um, seven passwords. That's what we're calling it. It was going to be called hot sauce password, but you guys were too afraid to drink hot sauce. Yeah, I don't a, want to a, like yeah. I'm 33 years old. I'm not drinking hot sauce. Indigestion, anymore. dude. Get the fuck out of here. Heartburn. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. never going to be big on TikTok with that attitude. I'm big on, on TikTok. TikTok every time I watch it. I'm dark. <laughs> <laughs> God, imagine what your algo on TikTok would be, dude. I decided I stay off. You fucking pedophile. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm just checking out their dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> the choreography is amazing. Excellent <laughs> lip syncing. <laughs> it's like I can't get laid, but I've gotten really into choreography. Yeah. <laughs> Heads or tails, Nick? Heads. Somebody that hasn't gotten in a while. Yeah. Oh, the snap, Pedro. Actually, either or would have been head or tail, dude. That's not funny. That's <laughs> hurtful. And you have been hurtful, hurtful to me, dude? Not like that. That's oh, like real. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, just dig on my I, family. Keep these in order, please. <laughs> dude, seven passwords? I can't even remember one. Keep these in order, please. Not me either. I, I'm, I've gotten to the point with passwords, <laughs> like I'm with telephone numbers. I don't even, I just use whatever they recommend. For, so now it's just saved with my face that I've, I don't know any password for anything that I have. <laughs> I keep them in my notes, dude. I don't. That's terrible. That's for hackers. Hey, everybody out there that can hack, all his passwords are in his notes. <laughs> Go for it, dude. I have none to hide. And do that because girls also. Can we, um, girls don't hack, dude. They're not that smart. Yeah, they, can we look at these? No, don't look at them okay. yet. <laughs> All right. The way this game he works. Said just keep them in order. He didn't say don't look at them. That's true. The way this game works is uh, you've each got uh, three one word passwords in front of you. Okay. All right. So um, let's say Nick's going first and he opens it up and his password is gay. Hmm. Pedro. Fuck you, first of all. <laughs> no. Continue. Um, so your password is gay. <laughs> so you're trying to get Pedro to guess gay. So you have three opportunities to give, him, him, to give him a pass, penis. to give him a, a hint. And oh, the hints also are just fun. one word. So let's say uh, the, the hint is straight. Okay. Pedro might try and guess the opposite of straight and say gay. And that's how you're trying to get oh. to lead him in. All okay. Right. And so you have to get seven uh, out of the 10 total passwords. And we're going to start with the first three here. I'm going to get high so I can be even worse at doing this. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to be bad without yep. an Do excuse. Do we all have the same words or... Uh, no, I, I have a list of words that I made up right oh. here. Um, you made the words up, dude? Yeah. It's going to be hard if you made them up. Yeah, well, so I didn't so. make up <laughs> brand new words. Oh. Oh. This is the most the what he literally yeah, just said. I, <laughs> um, I no, chose the, I made the list. Guy. I made up the <laughs> list. Guy, Thinks he's Dave Chappelle. Yeah. yeah. And I totally took this game. This is uh, the game Million Dollar Password hosted by Regis Feldman. I was watching an episode. Is he dead uh, yet? <laughs> yeah. I was watching an episode with him and Norm MacDonald and uh, Jamie Kennedy, all three, rest in peace. Mm. And uh, um, that's funny because Jamie Kennedy's not dead, but his Everybody career sucks. is. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got it, dude. <clears throat> Don't explain your jokes. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> so Did tell it? me what to do. <laughs> I thought it was a Kennedy brother. I thought for real he was dead. But I saw that because they're posting a bunch of clips since Norm died. <laughs> And uh, and I watched that episode, and I was like, "This is actually kind of a good game." So um, it would be better if there were incentives and stuff like that. But like hot sauce, yeah, yeah. Next time, dude. Maybe, dude, if you would have said like a shot of cum, I would have definitely done, done, done it. Yeah, <laughs> do a heartbeat. I, that's the second time I've almost spit taken. I, on. I could finally jerk off. Yeah, you don't. Uh, spit, I could. Dude. I could, We can all tell you. Think swallow. about my l- ropes right now. 
Well, not, that's not true because I jerked off three times when I came yeah, back. Yeah, you're fucking running. I went out. for the hat trick, dude. You can respect that as a soccer player with AIDS. <laughs> 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 and right. now on seven passwords <laughs> Nick's gonna go first I need to open up my timer because you have um, since it's only three passwords I'm gonna give you a minute and 30 seconds that's so a lot you have to read out what's in your so you I can know, you say get one it. minute and I do the first uh, first number um you are doing the very first one. Okay. Just you can set them and yeah, okay. And then just don't let Pedro see it. So maybe hold it under the table or something, just in case you can see through. All right, or anything. Just ready. ready. All right, ready. Go. Do I give him a hint first? Pausing. Um, yeah, you have three opportunities. Each is a one-word hint. Uh, you have the words, so you just give him. And your does first he only hint. get to guess one? Yeah, time and you just each. get to guess once each time. He doesn't get to ask questions or anything like that. No. Okay. Okay. And ready, go. Plastic. Boobs. Fun. Bags. <laughs> um, plastic, fun. Wait, I think this is a different word than I maybe think it is. Oh, this is starting off no, great. No, no, no. <laughs> I, well, well, I'm going to, okay. <laughs> Fun. Um, I don't. I don't know, man. Time's a kid. Time's one a ticking. Dog. Come on. Oh, you can say pass, and pick up the next one if you want to. You got twenty seconds. Oh, we're do. I go through all three of these. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay, we're gonna start over. Did you? Did, did you? Um. Did you not? Can you not read the word? Is it a? It's handwriting? the last word. Can I la ask what the last letter is? Um. Why would you ask that? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, here we go. You ready? But I'm trying to mow through all of these. You want to get through all oh, three shit. in, in one, minute? one minute? That's yeah. It's it's a oh, say a shit. word. Just try and get okay. it. Say a word. It's a word association. Sorry, I thought game. it was a minute thirty for all of them. So I want to nope, make. We have one good. minute for three. Okay. So wait. Then and then you're gonna switch. And then like I have to guess. You have to guess what the word is. For each of these little. Things? Each of these is a password. He's going to give you three hints. You have to guess what it is. It's all done with one word each. You know what I mean? Okay. It's all one word passwords. I'm not going to be very good at this. One word hints. I would have definitely swallowed that. Why not? So if it's, let's say the out. word is red, um, you could say green and you go color because you don't know. And then you go opposite and then you go red. I don't know that red is the opposite of green, but you see what I'm saying? Like, okay. You're just trying to you. You've got three words to lead him to what the word is. Okay. Okay. Let's go. All right. Here we go. So, plastic fun Christmas. You you're not supposed to do it that way, but well, that's fine. You do it one word at a time. Well, because we already did the two prior. Yeah, but that's fine. So did Christmas you know what the word was before? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Can you tell me the word? Do I tell him now? <laughs> no. Did you guess? No. No, I didn't. Plastic fun Christmas. Chris, gift, gifts. I'm no. not entirely sure what I'm trying to guess. You're trying to guess what the word he's referring to by plastic fun Christmas. He's trying to give you three hints as to what a word is. Happy. It's not gifts and it's not happy. You got another one more guess. See, this isn't working this way. You're supposed to, to do a one word at a time because you have 12 seconds left and... Oh, um, and if you don't know it, you should pass because you're against the time. You're against the clock. Dude, we're killing this, dude. Let me see the. Pay. I think this Stop. game was. Stop. Hold on. Don't open that. Let me see the first one again, and we'll start it over. And I'm I'm gonna put a different word in it. What was that? That was the timer that I kept restarting oh. over and over again. I thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, this game to make me feel like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty easy game. I don't get yeah. what the problem is. <laughs> Um, you're off your medicine, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had another word. Um, so, Pedro? You didn't get laid at all during a wedding, no. dude? It's the easiest place to get laid. Is that true? Yeah. I don't think that's true. It's like, true. statistically, look it up, CJ. Statistically, <laughs> <laughs> the easiest place to get laid is a wedding. Statistically? From what I've heard, yeah. From who? Who told you that? You've gotten laid by two people in your life. And a half. 
Two and a half. Two okay. And a half. Great <laughs> advice. Okay. What are you fucking Ben Shapiro giving dating advice? You queer. I hate you, dude. Okay. You've got a new word. The game <clears throat> is you got to get through, through three of them in a minute and 30 seconds. I'll give you because. All right. Let's go, dude. Ready? Okay, and good. if you yeah. can't get it, if you can't figure it out, say pass and try and get the next one. And you can come back to it. Okay. okay. All right. I have a minute. How am I going to come back? To All right. Dog. Cat. <laughs> Laundry. Missing. Petito. Pass. All right. Um. <laughs> These correlate at all? Yeah. Homophobic? No. no. Straight. Republican? You. Curse. <sighs> Pass. <laughs> I did a good job on that one, dude. That's disappointing. <laughs> All right. Fries. Bashes. <laughs> um, cheeseburger. In and out. Ketchup. Mustard. Oh, damn it. So you lost that one. You <laughs> passed on two of them, right? So you could take it. You have one final guess on, on the first two. You can give them the hints again. You've got 29 seconds. Dog, laundry, potato. Vacation. Nope. Homophobic Republican uh, curse. Curse. Donald Trump. (laughs) (laughs) You guys got zero. So you have to nail every single one from now or you lose the game. Oh, we knew this was happening. (laughs) I know, dude. He he probably has the N word. I don't, first off, I don't even say that word. It's not in my vernacular. Yeah. Bundle of sticks. that one is way, way out of N word. <laughs> yeah, not even close. Dude. That's the one you're supposed to say. All right, Pedro. Lay what do you say? Dude. If you don't say N word, then what do you say? The actual thing? Yeah, that's less racist than King censoring Chris yourself. Um, First off, why'd you make them so difficult to open? And did you come in them or lick them like an envelope? You queer. It's supposed to know. You, you uh, faggot. You, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was going to do this. Chris Kittis. Damn. <laughs> I see now you say you knew it was that and it was bubbling up. You're yeah. bu- you're boiling over there. I can't say, dude. I don't want to be canceled, dude. You should just said it. Here Are they going to kick you out of the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pedro. One hint at a time. Give him a hint. You got to try and guess it. If you don't get it, give hold him on. A, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open them before we start the time. That way, I can but, just fucking. But cheating. don't look ahead, though. Don't look ahead. That's cheating. Look ahead, bro. Lick ahead, dude. No, give me one of them under the table. I'll give you something under the table, dude. Oh, gross. You F word. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. White. Christmas. <laughs> um, other side of the street. Eight. <laughs> Next in. Yeah, also not one word, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to spice this game up. <laughs> Let's go move it on the lay. Rapido. Um, one minute left. Trustworthy. What? <laughs> Publicans? <laughs> no, mm. All right. Did you get three guesses? Uh, and I took two. White. Across the street. Pendable? Or other you, side of the street. Other side of the street. Republicans, I think you said. No, I said white. Other side of the street and trustworthy. Trustworthy. It's not Mexico. You may want to skip and try and get yeah. the next one. Let's see what else you got. Dirty. Guess. Pedro. <laughs> it's not Pedro. Peruvian with AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> 13 um, seconds. Missing. What was the first hint? Dirty. 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 Missing. Guy Petito? Tito head? Is that your guess? Uh, and <laughs> we're out of time, dude. We lost. Damn, you guys lost for super Laundry. hardcore. Yeah. Dirty, missing. Well, it would have been fun to take the, the shots. Bonus round. 
bonus round. Let's see if you guys can just get one. Okay. Let's see if you can get maybe one. I feel like we're kind of killing the energy, but <laughs> <laughs> or we can not. We can stop playing this game if you're not into it. But we could just play. And see if you get one. This game was dead before it got to us. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I should give the instructions beforehand. Um, I. My sister was a kindergarten teacher, and she told me that. Are you going first or me? Damn, bro, know. that was a hard ass dig at you guys, and you guys just said "fuck you." So we have no feelings, dude. Because I'm done with this game. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. What were your words, though? I got a jab and jab. It, it, it does, <laughs> your it, favorite. It, it makes it a lot uh, <laughs> less exciting when there's no stakes involved. Yeah, I love so, steak. I got Republican and I regret doing this. Pandora. Oh, I got that on the last round. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Well, good game. Good game, buddy. Know. Can I suck your dick now? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the stink? Yeah. All right. Should we? What are we at? We're out of Mori Paz, dude. I think we're about to set off a car bomb outside of the Supreme Court. Okay. Let's do it. We? Yep. Those all of us? On pause. We do you up. have a car bomb? Yeah, you don't gas it's in your car. Up. Do you even have gas in your car? <laughs> to get there? What are you talking about? It's gonna be like a. <laughs> 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 uh, Amor y paz. See you next week.